wanted to help a large family get their home in order after they suddenly joined two households two years ago. The reason why we are all living together is because at the end of 2020, my mum had COVID. She just got worse and worse. Two weeks later, she passed away. Since then, my auntie and uncle and my younger cousin, Ajay, moved into our home. Coming into this house without my sister felt painful, but I instantly felt like I needed to look after these kids and fulfill what my sister wanted for them. We have to deal with this scenario totally differently to any of the other houses that we've been into before. We have spoke to bereavement professionals who have given us really amazing advice that instead of pushing everyone to let go, we're going to try and focus on the really important things that we want to keep. These are empty. Yeah, do you know what? I have to say that my, my sister buys this um, and it had a little bit left in there and it's the last spoon that she kind of used. So I always remember her cooking and keeping spoons in there, taking a measurement and putting it in there. Is it that sometimes the guilt of letting go of stuff makes you feel like maybe you're forgetting somebody or...? Yeah, I think because there's so much of her personality and her hands have touched this. I just don't want that to lose that memory. I feel like if I take those things away, then those memories will be lost. And uh, I live for these memories. I want to see them, because uh, that's what makes me feel happy and connected to my sister. Also, it's all about kind of accepting what's happened. Once you remove all this stuff, you kind of feel like it's real. And I never wanted any of this to be real. I wanted yeah. just to never, ever go into this, like even in some of these jars, I don't even know what's in some of them because they've just been, you know, under the cupboard. I'll be like, if I open something, you know. You've got to deal with I've it. I've got to deal with it. And I never, I could never bring myself to, to deal with it, so. Are you okay? She, she was my best friend. I know that some people might watch and think an empty splash jar with a spoon in it is not difficult to let go of, but for Raj, it's not just an empty splash jar with a spoon in it. And I just think she's just made some incredibly brave decisions today and actually let go of the things that aren't serving a purpose anymore and hold on to the memories of her sister that are going to make her happy, bring her joy and serve a purpose in the home. A week ago, the Smith family home was in chaos from when two households came to live together after a devastating loss. Are you ready to go inside? Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, let's go. There's no time like the prison, let's, the let's go. Up. Come in to your new kitchen. Oh, wow. This is nice. In oh, here. this cupboard was atrocious. Oh, wow. Not anymore, because <gasps> Dilly... Oh, look at all the spices there! All of Hasharan's <gasps> spice pots are up there oh. because we know how special they were to you. And we know that every time you open the cupboard, they reminded you of her. Yeah. And so we felt it was important for her to stay. So every time you open this cupboard, you can still get that I feeling. just pictured her face as soon as I saw them. I just saw her face, and they're so nice. What did you think she'd think of this? <laughs> Thank God for organising my house. <laughs> <laughs>